What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds, where today we're going to break into stuff. Shh. This is like a. Oh, we should be breaking. Shh. We're going to see what's inside Randy's very own trailer. <laughs> um, this is. <laughs> This is an interesting trailer because it, it did belong to my uncle, mm -hmm. but it was left here by the guy that used to live in that house right there on the corner. Um, I don't think I've mentioned this in a video before, oh, but you haven't. I don't think I have. I, I, if I did, you guys can comment below and tell me, but that guy on the corner there was one of my uncle's best friends. My uncle had like two friends, really, two really good friends. Mm -hmm. And uh, this guy over here, uh, his name was Les. You notice I'm saying past tense. His name was, was yeah. Les. Well, obviously you guys should know the story by now. My uncle passed away. Right? We knew he was going to go. It just it happened so fast. It happened so fast. Within a few months of him being sick, he was gone. Um, and the house had to go somewhere. I couldn't let this house go. It's too important to me. This house means more to me than anything else that I own. And this will forever be my uncle Ron's house. I don't give a damn if I own it for 30 years. This is my uncle's house. Well, his friend Les over there, has he's the guy that has helped keep this house together all of these years. Uh, yeah. So what we've been dealing with is yes. Les's handiwork. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and and, and <laughs> I understand that he took a lot of shortcuts and stuff, but like really without Les, I don't know what my uncle would have done. Mm -hmm. Um, so I, I give the man props for keeping things going, but at the same time, boy, fixing all of those things, is, a, is, a, is a, <laughs> it's a real pain. Well, Les brought this trailer over here to store some stuff in, and my uncle allowed him to do it. And then Les cut the tongue off of it. He cut the axles out of it, so there was no way to move it. Yeah. Okay. Well, it is full, from what I was told, of Les's stuff, but we don't know what that is. There's a padlock on the door, and we don't have a key. Thankfully, this is all cheap aluminum, and as you can see, it's it's rotting away. It is so full, you can't even see in the windows. I mean, it, there's, there's stuff just piled. There could be millions of dollars worth of stuff in here. Yeah, Jimmy Hoffa could be in there. <laughs> Remember the search for him? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they'll find them buried under the White House, I think. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> well, the, the interesting part of this story, aside from what's in the trailer, is Les passed away right after my uncle did. Like, to my surprise, I, I came up here to do some work on the house, and some people came up and said, did you hear about Les? And they said he was found dead in his home. He was in there for about five days before they found him, is my understanding. He died roughly two to three weeks after my uncle did. I, it, it makes you, it, you know, it makes you think, you know, I, I, I don't know if my uncle's passing just really broke him, you know, broke him down, broke his heart, or if it was just something else, but it, it was very strange that right, and my uncle was doing so well, and then we got a call one night saying he's not going to make it through the night, we couldn't make it up here in time, it was impossible to get here, he died at like two in the morning, Yeah. and that was that, and then uh, shortly after, uh, Oh, Les over there passed away too. I've so, been friends for so long. Yeah, I mean, they've been so, uh, so long, man. So long. So this trailer, Les told me before before he died, like I talked to him just a month or so before he passed away, and he said, yeah, I left that. That's how he talked. He was like very matter of fact, kind of a grunty, you know, yeah, well, he's like, you understand, Randy, I uh, put that trailer back there, and Ron let me put my stuff in it, you know, and he said, uh, I gave Ron the trailer. Well, thank you, Les. Uh, Mike, I gave you an F-150. It's kind of a similar deal, isn't it? <laughs> right? It is. It's kind of <laughs> it is. Big pain in my you-know-what. <laughs> here you go. Here's this crappy truck. Here you go. Here's this crappy trailer. Well, I've been on here yapping my jaws for a while. You can see how long it's been here. There's This tree is over six feet tall. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we're going to need those kind of squash down oh the tree huggers are going to be really pissed off about this killing the trees i got news for you there's a lot of trees out here i'm going to kill mm -hmm. at some point so you, you know roll that while you whack it or what do you, you really do? could just take it off the hinges they're just but it's more dramatic here take the vice grips i'll take the hammer and let, hold the let's see if we can just yeah you can hold the camera yeah you just let her and and i'll i'll commence to to whacking and let's see if this will just come right off Oh wait, we need a thumbnail of me whacking it, Mike. Can you freeze it? 
You know, I rip. bet I bet we could just. Yeah, but that's no fun. Uh, Give it fine. A good whack. Okay, fine. Give it a good whack. Okay, that's wow. Kind of locked that's. Back <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I really thought it was just going to pop <laughs> off, Mike. There you go. We're in. You're taking out all your aggression. Okay. Here we go. Give us a sniff test. I ain't sniffing. Oh, wow. The floor is rotted. Uh, oh. There might be some goodies in here, Mike. There could be. There might be. Okay, take it and, and go for a little tour. Here, oh, there's a, there is a, oh, wow. The roof caved in. The whole roof collapsed. What are these? These old, uh, is this, oh, they're empty. Damn it. <laughs> Green Planet Wine Company. A bunch of wine bottles. This floor is, uh. This is to my grandpa's scooter. The one you have at, at Yeah, the I think. I think this I think this is the uh, rear wheel for my grandpa's scooter there. That's cool. Okay. Maybe. I, I don't know for sure. We'll save this. This carburetor I replaced in God 2001. <laughs> this carburetor right here. A little single barrel off a of Mitsubishi engine. Oh. I can tell you exactly what this went to. Yeah. Uh, that was my uncle's 1987 or 83 Dodge Grand Caravan or Dodge Caravan. It had a Mitsubishi four-cylinder, and I put this carburetor. I took it off, and I replaced it with another one. I, we, my uncle bought it dirt cheap, a few hundred bucks from a local dealer who couldn't fix it. I told my uncle it was just a carburetor. We slapped a used no, we put a new one. We did. We put a brand new car on it. Got from like AutoZone. It was like three or four hundred dollars. It was expensive. Yeah. Slapped it on there. The van ran ever since. He never had another problem out of it. <laughs> Ooh, watch your step right here. Okay. That is very, very soft. Boy, there's totes. Um, liquid wrench. Yeah. A distributor. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that's cool. That's nice. A TV guide. Mike, you can have this. That's oh, that's that's for you. Yeah, thank you. That's for you. This is uh, August twenty fifth to the thirty first, but it doesn't say what year. Oh, dude. Oh. Two thousand one. Oh, well, that's we right on the probably when I the... changed that carburetor. <laughs> you see what I mean? A slide hammer. Nice. Okay. Wow. Uh, and it's got all kinds of little adapters in it. All right. Uh, an air tank. It's still got air in it. No, it doesn't. I was going to say, that's a good... Oh, boy. That's a nice level. It's got double whatever those things are that's in it. Old. That's heavy, dude. Yeah. That weighs a ton. You've got a Sears Kenmore sewing machine. Okay. Oh, some bicycles. A door to a Ford Econoline. That's probably worth a little money. Is this a, is this a bathroom? Yeah. I can't see in there. I can't even see what's in there. I can't even get. Oh, wow. Tools galore. Carburetor, alternator, plumbing. <sighs> oh, wow. Oh, sewer pieces. That's a, like a toilet flange. Oh, whoa. There's something, a chainsaw. There's a big chainsaw down there. That's a nice looking chainsaw. What is this? This is, oh, this was my grandmother's. This used to be in the front yard. Oh, jeez. Here's another carburetor. Okay. Yeah, that was my grandma's. That used to be in our front yard. So it looks like a, some of this stuff is definitely my uncle's. More plumbing, parts to bicycles, plumbing, wine bottles. I think he liked wine. Uh... Let's see if we can get a little further in. A cheese grater, Mike. You need a cheese grater? I could use a cheese grater. What is this? Ooh, that looks like that would... That would... Yeah. I don't know. Two of them. What is it, though? I don't know what that is. Yeah. Is that for tree limbs, or...? It doesn't open very much. Guys, if you know what this is, it said Mid Midwest 
FCT-M-C5 USA. I don't know, maybe for cutting up books that suck. Uh, Shogun, a novel of Japan. He's got some books in here too. I have to be careful just grabbing rusty stuff because you just, I don't know. There's a, a Makita battery, a cheese grater. Oh, this is for flanging. Uh, <gasps> Brake lines. That's Craftsman. That's, that's an nice. old Craftsman flange tool Look at thingy. That. Yeah, here you go. We could use this. You could use it. I don't work on cars, Mike. Oh man, nice look at those. Yep. Lots of sharp objects. I'm not gonna stick my hand in that because I don't know what's in. I'm gonna try to get in here a little further though. Oh, oh man, look at this big old kerosene heater. Oh, I, there's two of them. Uh, there's mold all over all of this. I don't know what all this is, but some cleaning stuff, spray paint, alcohol, rubber bands. Rubber band, man, wild as the Taliban. You don't know that song? Mike doesn't know that song. Sorry, All right. Don't know that one. Yeah, the roof has completely caved in back here. This window has completely caved in. This is, look at this, a portable spade. That's an old army thing. Yeah, that's cool. Ah. Some of this stuff might be worth a little money. I don't know. Here's a basket with a heat gun. Caution tape. I've always wanted my own caution tape, Mike. I've got some now. There you go. And this thing is full of nails. And yeah, lots, lots of nails. More wine bottles. This heater right here, this is pretty cool. In an emergency situation, man, like you know, your power goes out, heat goes out or something, close up the close up one of the rooms. I think I'll hold on to these. You, you just never know when you're going to need emergency heat, Mike. You've been through that before. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what, what's in the suitcase? That looks like it's a nice... It's got a lock on it. Okay. It's got a... Oh. Okay. All right. All right. Uh. Oh. Ooh. What is this? Uh. Oh. <laughs> Dude, a timing light. Okay, oh. this is an old school. Look how nice that is. Chrome? Yeah. You got a little probe? Need a little probe, Mike? No, he's already got a little probe. He doesn't need another one. Okay. <laughs> we got a digital multimeter. What do you think the chances are it works? Absolutely, yeah. I Batteries for sure. And then you got your... Uh... Oh, wow. Less... Schultz, that's a nice dude. A Sun Pro by Actron, inductive timing light, made in USA, CP7515. Freeze, or you're dead. That's right. That sucker, uh, it's plastic, but I mean, it, it feels nice. Whoa, hey now. All right, looks like we got an old generator down here. There's so much stuff in here. My goodness. Uh, I don't think I want much of it. Bikes, a welding, that's all messed up. I wonder if any of these bikes used to belong to my grandpa. He was kind of into that stuff. Then you got this uh, this one down here. I wonder what the chances are that any of this works. Probably very slim to none. This thing doesn't look like it was used a lot though. This doesn't look bad at all. We got another box down here full of stuff. It fell, ooh, DeWalt. That's heavy. Oh, dude, look at this drill. Holy crap. Wow. What is, what <laughs> the hell is this? It's a DeWalt half inch variable speed hammer drill. Oh, that, uh, that sucker right there. That's heavy. Wow. A little brush, some bits. I, I bet that drill is mean, dude. Yeah. Of course, the Econoline door there. There's a chair. Oh, this is. I got my uncle this chair. This used to be in his living room. Oh. I might have a picture somewhere of this. Yeah, I found this on the side of the road. I used to do that. I'd go dumpster diving, kind of find furniture on the side of the road, and I'd bring it home. 
Yeah. And that's how we furnish the house. You've got some gas. We got all kinds of gas back here. Let's see what this is. We've got your old map. Seems empty. We got propane, empty. Oxygen. There might be a little in that. Oh, we got a little little welding torch thing here that goes onto these. Little bitty torch. All right. And that's a weed eater. Did you check the cabinets? I did not check the cabinets. We'll have to move this. We'll have to scoop this stuff out of the way. Let's see. What is that? Oh, jeez. All right. Well, whatever. Let's move all this up. Boy, this, this place is jam-packed here. Oh, there's nothing in there. No, there's a Some, thermos. A thermos, yeah. <coughs> see what's up here magnesium hmm. okay some vitamins here, some vitamins I don't know what that is may not be sold oh what is it it's male performance enhancer <laughs> and he hit it up there you, ever look at you it? can have that Mike <laughs> may not be sold yeah Twenty-two ninety-nine may not be sold. Supplement facts. Wow, sixty tablets increase stamina, endurance, and desire. I need some of that. Send that home with me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm kidding. You can have that, Mike. <laughs> you can have that. How? Whoa. We got Rin Tin Tin. All right. There's a uh, cooler under here. Maybe there's something. Oh, boy, this. Honestly, I think so far I'm not finding anything that I think is very valuable, Mike. <laughs> Can you name this rearview mirror? Probably off an Econo line. Yeah. I don't know. I wonder what happened to his Econo line. It was in that garage. I saw them haul it off, so they probably sold it. Or this is empty. Yeah. This, honest to God, this looks like there's probably a few things in here that are. Oh, there's a. There's some junk in there and. There's nothing in there. Well, I was hoping we were going to get rich off of this score, Mike. Yeah. Uh, I do wonder what's in some of these totes, though. Wonder what goes, what those hubcaps go to. Oh. Oh, what? Is, jeez. Are you serious? What is this? Oh, easy there. What is that? A jack or? That. Oh, it's heavy. Yeah, that's that sucker. Is no joke. Yeah. I, I don't know. know. A tire <laughs> lock or something? Somebody. Is it a spring compressor? Oh. Old school strut compressor thing? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. If you guys know what that is, comment below. That's empty. Let's move these carburetors. Oh, a distributor. Vacuum band, some plug wires. Wonder what that goes to. Liquid wrench. I don't think we need that. These are probably to his Econo line also. Oh, those are beautiful hubcaps, aren't Ford. they? Lord. Yeah, those are some nice old hubcaps. And he's got three, right? <laughs> That's less for you, man. He's got three. Three out of four. Yeah, some more stuff in there. Let's see if I can... This is... Yeah. You could live in this, Mike. You could. You could live in this. Ooh, some sweet salad cubes. You should open. You should open this. Well, let's see when it. Let me hop out real quick. Yeah. I don't want to open that inside the, the thing. Let's see. This. Uh, this says, July of 2010. Oh. Sell by July of 2010. You want to do the honors and sniff it? You want to taste it? Yeah. You'll taste it? No. No, you won't. I'll open it. I'll taste it. Well, don't break the glass. Wow. That thing shatters in your hand, you're going to the hospital. No. We need to bang on it. <laughs> you want to bust it open with a hammer? No, just pop the top. Bang the top a little bit. All right. We'll be back. All right. Mike, for the life of him, could not open this. Watch. I'm going to show you guys something. <laughs> Watch. Liar, liar. And let's oh, see. dude, that looks like goo. Smell it. 
That smells fine. Oh. Seriously, taste, sm taste one. you smell it. Here, I'll hold it and taste it. <laughs> You're gonna taste it? Hold on. No. Oh, come on. It smells like pickle relish, Mike. It does. Should I? Do it. I bet it tastes just like pickle relish. It's pickle relish. I'm not gonna try it. Yeah. I got this problem with- Got a little bit of a kick to it, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fermented. <laughs> Right. Yeah, that's good stuff. I'll, I'll take your word for it. Oh. Fermented pickle relish. Woo. Okay. Mike, do not get drunk on the pickle relish. <laughs> I'm going to come back. That's going to be empty. Mm. <laughs> I'm glad he did it, not me. <laughs> Look. Oh. Go subscribe. <laughs> can you stop so I can film? <laughs> Go subscribe to Monkey Free. I mean, who? Wow, no way. I'm, fine. I'm good. Okay, go subscribe to Monkey Wrench Mike for what he just did. <laughs> Certainly some of you got a good laugh out of that. I know I did. Go subscribe to his channel because that was brave. Or stupid. I don't know which. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, there's a box here that says Ron stuff. Okay, here. Oh really? Hold on, this is some kind of a pedal that's stuck on an 18-inch chainsaw. Okay. All right, well, this is a surprise. Right there, Ron stuff. We'll set that outside. We'll look in that in just a minute once we make sure there's nothing that shouldn't be in there. Wow. Uh, oh, goodness. Ew. I don't know what this bunch of, bunch of dishes or something. Open it. Let's see what's in that. It oh, says cool. BC on it. Well, that's been in there a long time. Oh. I remember that guy. BC comic. No kidding. Yeah. Wow. How cool is that? You probably have a whole set of that. I bet I do. Here. Okay, I'm going to hand you this whole thing here. And we can take a look in that also. This is the good stuff right here. Oh, a CB radio, a steering column. Mm -hmm. All wrapped up. Okay. All right. We're making progress now. This looks like this would be less as stuff for painting. A couple little pigs. Yeah, I don't think we need to take that out. That's Let's see what else we got in here. Oh, I just can't, I can't maneuver. Hold on guys, let me move this out of the way. All right, we moved some stuff out of the way and uncovered a whole nother stash of wine bottles. I'm thinking old Les there had a, had a slight drinking problem. Oregon, 18 inch chainsaw. Yeah, is that worth anything? I have no idea. But we got another, there's some ramps, some old car ramps. Right there, another carburetor. Ugh. Ooh, lots of dust. Ooh, a trash bag. Oh. Okay, we'll open this outside. Be good. We'll open that outside. And then over here, oh, we got a steering column. I'll bet this is for the Econoline. It's old school. It's got that ring around the bottom, you know, that you push. That old school. Ew. Yeah, okay. I don't know what that is. What is this? A VHS? Kidnapped. Rated PG. Oh, this thing looks beautiful. Look at that. A Montgomery Ward 680 <laughs> CV radio. Wow, okay. That can stay in here. I'm not I'm not too worried about that. There's a bunch of little miscellaneous things back here but i think we've probably uncovered most of the good stuff except for in this bathroom yeah but to get in the bathroom or the box oh there's a picture there's a picture oh i didn't see the box mike well, it doesn't say who it is i don't know huh okay. you know i know who this is i think i think this is rick I think this is Rick. He used to live across the street in that tan house over there. Oh, excuse okay. me. I think, I don't know. 
Let's see what's in that box. Oh. Ooh. GI Joes? <gasps> Do you have any idea? When no, I, like I don't have a clue. But it's G.I. Joe's, those old action figures or comic books. Okay. Oh. There you go. It says Cobra. <laughs> oh! <laughs> no way! Wow. I used to love G.I. Joe's. I don't, I don't, I don't, I mean, these little action figures, I mm -hmm. should say. People, they're dolls. No, they're not. They're not dolls. I don't know what Cobra was. I don't recall. I don't recall these guys. How cool is this? I don't know what. probably Google this. Yeah, these are worth anything. Yeah, we're going to, we're going to Google that. Because <clears throat> these might actually be worth a dollar or two. G.I. Joe, the American hero. G.I. Joe is there. With the Kung Fu grip. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I mean, truthfully, if these were worth something, he probably wouldn't have had them. He probably would have got rid of them. I don't know, though. Yeah, I'm and it's hard to tell if these are lesses, if these are Rons. I don't think Ron was into G.I. Joe, but he might have been. What is that guy? Boy, he's... He's wild, man. Somebody's gonna, somebody's gonna comment, and be like, "I remember that." Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what else we got. We got another GI Joe, and then the boxes change colors and stuff. Okay. Where are those guys? These are well kept, and they're put in. Yeah. I mean, seriously, these are in really nice. These aren't chewed up. These aren't the paint's not scuffed at all. These are in very good condition. So somebody was holding on to these for a reason. Well, his legs are kind of... <laughs> Look at that. We might have... I mean, we may have found a million dollars, Mike. We might. could have. Look, oh. What is that? Great Heroes Collector's Case. Ooh. Okay. More of the same kind of stuff. Wow, these things are in excellent shape. Yeah. The thing is, you don't know who they belong to. No. Not a clue. They're just... He's built like me. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Let me see. There's bound to be one in here built like you, Mike. Oh, but it, he ain't not it. a pot belly. He ain't it. <clears throat> Look at this guy. He's got USA on his chest here. Look, he's serious. Mm -hmm. USA. Red, white, and blue. All right. This guy's... This is only half a man right here. This is you, Mike. That's me. <laughs> he's only half a man. And look, they got a little, what is this, a wolf? Yeah. Okay. Mike, you'll have to open this. Oh, I think I'm, I'm going the wrong way. Here. It's like Christmas. I feel like I'm five years old and someone just gave me a bunch of action figures. And there's two levels. Oh, in each one of these? I don't know. Ah, uh, wow. Look at this guy. With a silver head. It almost looks like Jarvis. <laughs> it's not, but it almost looks like Jarvis. Who's this chick? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know any of these, man. <clears throat> Ooh, that guy's got a lot of stuff on. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's got, he's got something going on. Ooh, look at the lizard guy. <laughs> look at this guy. I've got a feeling these are some kind of collectible, Mike. I, yeah. I, I don't know. I just that guy's not we'll in give there. Give me something to Google. Too. Yeah. All right. What do we got? One more. One more. One more. Back to GI Joe, a real American hero. All right. And this holds twenty-four, so there's probably two. Two levels to this. There's probably two levels to all of yeah. them. Oh, these are like spacemen. Is this Buzz Lightyear? guy from the YMCA. <laughs> it's fun to stay at the YMCA. I can do that dance too. Yeah. Oh, look at this guy. Well, he, God dang, he's about to shoot the hell out of something. Wow. Wow. Okay. Well, what's under him? 
these things are in pristine mm -hmm. condition. Like these were not ones that were played with. Somebody, I guess, bought them, and or maybe they just bought the whole collection this way. Yeah. Okay, I'm saying all of these, those go out there. Okay. All right. We're gonna next, I'm gonna make some room, guys. We're gonna get into this bathroom because that's the only other place we haven't been able to explore. Let me move some things around and we'll see what's in there. All right, we got everything out of the way. Come in here and I didn't find much. There's some wrenches, some jumper cables, an alternator, a carburetor, and an old wooden box with some tools in it. But we did find a few things in here that we brought outside because it's dark, it's hard to see. Out here, you guys will be able to see a lot better. So this is everything we've uncovered. You've already seen the G.I. Joe collection. But this, Mike, can you open this? Here's that one level that we found, but we also found another one that's in a case, and these levels actually work. Um, this one says American 8... 0920 space 48. This one says Johnson level and tool made in the United States of America. Mm -hmm. Watch this. Oh, wow. That's cool. As far as levels go, that's Magnum. Wow, Mag yeah, that makes sense. As big as that is, right? Magnum Empire made in USA. It is a 944 series. It looks like it says 944 okay. series. Back right there. Oh, wow. 80 years of quality and innovation, 1919 to 1999. Hmm. And all the little bubbles are there. <laughs> yeah. That's, I mean, I'm not a level kind of guy, <laughs> you know, I, but that's a damn good looking level right there. Yeah. That could be worth something. It could be. Okay. okay. We we took these uh, hubcaps out because even though there's not a matching set, I just think they're really cool. Worth cleaning up. Hang one on a wall or something. You know, a little bit of wall art. Uh, I went ahead and saved the Montgomery Ward 40 channel CB radio just because why not? It's it's cool. It doesn't look like it was ever installed in anything. It doesn't even have scratches on it. It's It looks like somebody bought it and they just never used it. Next. Uh... I did pop the top just to make sure there was, you know, not a stash of 70s magazines. You know the ones, Mike. Well, it would go with his, or whoever's <laughs> pills. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to assume that was Les's. But what is, what, okay, I, I, I did not go through, I want to make it clear, I did not go through this box. I just popped the top, and when I saw the first thing, I was like, oh, we're safe on this. Uh, obviously, I wouldn't want to disrespect my uncle or anything. So, take a look at that, would you? Oh would you look at that? This is not a replica. Yeah. Okay. This is not one of those you go to Wally World and you buy yourself a $39.99 Atari. This is an original wood grain. I believe this is a 2600. Let's take a look down here and see what it says. It says manufactured for Atari by TRW. That's who my stepmom and my dad used to work for. TRW. Um, blah, 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 patent serial number 81147 but it doesn't say like Atari 2600, so I don't know, I don't know what model this is. It's got the old school click, color, black and white, <laughs> your game select, and game reset, then you got your channel 2 to 3 back here, your difficulty level, A to B. A to B difficulty level. Your power goes in right there, and then you've got one controller for each side. So if somebody knows what generation of Atari this is, definitely drop a comment below, but that's an original, man. Um, hold on. Tiny whiskey bottles on bottom. A couple of empty beer bottles. Three or four... This is a, a manifest. It's a <laughs> Three or four plastic coffee cups, shot glasses, stuffed Garfield, couple glasses. This is telling us everything that's in it. You're spoiling it, Ron. Old Speedway cup. Ooh, oh, there's something in this. There's something in this one. Players? <laughs> oh, really? Regular and menthol. And then there's this little, this little... This little guy right here, glass. What is that? He probably painted this. My grandparents and him used to make oh, ceramic okay. stuff, and they would fire it and paint it all themselves. Kind of cool. Obviously, this is going back to Oklahoma because this goes with my mom. Um, this is stuff that my mom will probably want. So, um, magnets. 
from, let's see. This is so cool seeing all of this. Oh, I, I hadn't, I don't think anybody knew any of this stuff was in here. That's a keychain, and that's it. All right, we've got a Frontier City. Mm. <laughs> we got an Oklahoma spoon. Wow. I wonder how long this stuff has been in there. I don't know what that is. Some old tin stuff. Drink Coca-Cola. All right, those are those are some glass bottles and stuff. This is the power cord? No, this has been cut or something. Somebody cut that and put it in the box. I'm not sure what good that does. Fred Jones Manufacturing Company. My uncle used to work there in Oklahoma City. Okay. That's where yep. all the Model Ts used to be made. Yeah, my uncle worked there. My uncle also worked, and my grandfather did, for Pinkerton Security. No surprise seeing that in there. Play it si Oh. <laughs> I thought it was a... Yeah, that's, I thought it was a Roger that's Rabbit comic. Uncle, you got. I was there, like, yeah. whoa. <laughs> okay, that's not what. I... <laughs> you remember Roger Rabbit? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, there's a lot of glass stuff in here. Oh, can you open this like a Hot Wheels thing or something? A stamp, unloaded at 109. Oh, the Bat Ski Boat, one dollar. He probably bought that 30 years ago. <laughs> yeah. He loves stuff like that. Oh, the receipt's in here, too. The receipt. <laughs> yeah. No kidding. Look at it. 93. 1993. I was 13 years old. How old were you? Uh, married. 30 what? <laughs> exactly. Okay, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go through all of this. There's a lot of just glass breakable stuff, mugs and stuff. I'm not gonna go through this. This stuff is obviously my uncle's, like without a doubt. He even had a, a like a whole a whole packing list in here of everything that was in here. Oh, it's an Atari 2600. Set it right on Check right, the right, right right there on the manifest. Atari 2600. Okay, so we know this is my uncle, so I'm gonna put all this stuff back. We're gonna go through this box. Ron was real big about keeping a, a list of things, putting his name on stuff. So we knew that was his. This one doesn't have that, so and neither does that one. Mm -hmm. So I think what we're going to do is instead of just like going through each item one at a time, we'll kind of dig through here, see if there's anything cool. And if there is, we'll bring it out and show it to you. All right, so we went through this one. And it's just more of the same. A bunch of Coca-Cola stuff. This one I thought was kind of cool, though. Uh, that's Japanese, I guess, or Chinese. I don't know. Somebody will comment below and tell me. It says, Trink Coca-Cola shuts mark. And then whatever all that is. I don't know, but I'm seeing a theme here with a lot of Coca-Cola stuff. And this thing right here, this is super heavy. Old Coca-Cola. It's like making lemonade or tea in or something, you know? Enjoy Coke trademark. I'm going to also assume, I mean, there's, again, my uncle's real big about putting his name on stuff and, and, and keeping track of things. This is not like the other box, but it's got a lot of Coca-Cola stuff in it. You There's gotta... something illegal in here. I prefer it's your hands no, touching no, no, it no. instead of mine. Be all over this. Okay. Well, let's see. Atari. What? Tell me these are the games. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh wow. Dude, this is a whole Atari console. <laughs> yes. Oh. With games, it's got all the games. Football, miniature golf, oh. boxing, Grand Prix, Pac-Man. <laughs> and, and there's more in there, but yeah. There's more in there? Yeah, there's, there's, another, there's another bag. Donkey Kong, video pinball, Star Raiders. You know, I doubt, I don't know. These could be worth a fortune today. You couldn't buy these off me. If I, I mean, this is obviously my uncle's before I lay claim to them. I'm gonna, I'll talk to my mother. I don't, I don't think my mom's gonna want this stuff. She's not really into this kind of stuff. Uh, but yeah, don't even comment, don't even get in the comment section asking if you can buy any of this, like this stuff. Not a chance, man. Not a chance. I know that this is my uncle's and I know he loved his Ataris, man. He loved his video games. Ooh, a used Q tip. Okay. We just, another bag, what could be in this? 
Ooh, paddles. <gasps> River Raid. Do you remember River Raid? I you don't remember? River Raid. Oh my oh. God. Video touchpad. What? Oh, 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 oh. Look at this. Yeah. I didn't know this existed. Look at these. It's called a quick shot. Okay. That's me. Quick shot. <laughs> quick shot. <laughs> so you've got little suction cups on the bottom. And of course the paddles, man. I remember the paddles. You needed these to play breakout and super breakout. I don't know if you guys remember those. Air pong. pong. You had to have this to play pong yeah. as well. Can you hook that up to your TV? <laughs> well, that's no. that's a problem. Um, yes and no. Chopper command. <sighs> I'm, in, I'm in heaven. I'm in heaven right now. I can't believe after emptying the whole house that there was still stuff hidden in this trailer that belonged to my uncle. Uh, it, it, it makes me so happy to find this stuff. Yes, you can hook an Atari up to your television, but you got to get like an adapter oh, okay. because TV, TVs... Do they still have an antenna on the back? They do. They have to. I wonder if you could plug an old school connector into the back that used to go to these Ataris. They had a slide on it for VHF, UHF, or game and TV. Yeah. Well, I challenge you to a game of something, Pong? Space Raiders Ping or Pong? Pong or something. Yeah. I'm going to kick your ass, have to dude. Do that. <laughs> we got to see if we can find an adapter somewhere. Yeah. If we can, we'll see if Walmart or Best Buy or something has one. If they do, we'll come back and we'll 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 yeah. we'll see if this stuff even works. Well, guys, I guess that's that. It wasn't anything super crazy or exciting, but there was some fun stuff it in there. There was good stuff in there. Yeah. Yeah. I, I already got a hold of my mom, and I sent her pictures of everything. So, you know, if she wants any of this stuff, obviously, that, that's that's hers. So um, I'm waiting to hear back from her to tell me if she thinks those G.I. Joe, those action figures. Um, I don't know if those are my uncles or not. I would assume they are, though. I... I he seemed to be kind of a collector. All yes. All the Elvira stuff yeah. and all the other things that he collected. Yeah. All my life, I've never seen... I, I know the Atari stuff. I've seen that stuff before. Mm -hmm. But the, the action figures, I've never seen those. But that doesn't seem like something Les would have collected. That really seems more like something my uncle would have collected. Right. So just because I didn't see them doesn't mean he well, didn't I, have I them. I thought that's who we were talking about. Your uncle collected the Elvira stuff. Yeah, I, I yeah. Less, no, it was your uncle collected. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, excuse me. Yeah, it was my uncle that collected all that yeah. stuff. So I'm sure my mom's gonna gonna want those. Um, I'm just waiting to hear back from her, and and I can carry all this stuff back to Oklahoma and give her whatever. I think I'm gonna leave the Atari stuff here, assuming she tells me I can keep it, and I'm sure she will. Um, the only thing I'm missing, this this is this is so my uncle. He packed all of that Atari stuff. There are two Atari 2600s, all the games, controllers, every even a touchpad that I didn't even know existed. He, he did not save the power cords or the piece. There's, there's this old school. Some people remember you had to choose between like channel three and four or channel two and three, and you had to slide it. It screwed into your antenna, and there was a slider for TV or game. Mm -hmm. That's missing as well. There's no connector to hook it to the TV, and there's no power cord. And these take a very unique power cord. It's like a, it's like a headphone jack, but instead of audio, it's electricity. Mm -hmm. So without those, uh, we can't play games, guys. I'm hoping maybe I can maybe I can find one on eBay, but we're going to be leaving here uh, probably early tomorrow morning. It's already this evening, so no chance of playing those. I wish we could have hooked them up for you guys, though. I would have loved to kick your ass in the game of. Yeah, I don't think so. I mean, I'm an, I I grew up on the Atari. You were doing the news, all right? <laughs> yeah. When you were a kid, games did not exist. You played tetherball. That's what. That's, that's what, what we played it. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. See, he doesn't know. He's <laughs> get out of here, man. <laughs> anyway, guys, I want to thank Monkey Wrench Mike for coming out here again, uh, helping with the sewage again, mm -hmm. um, helping break into the shed, and uh, it was good. honestly it wasn't a bad. Good time. I thought it was gonna be a little rough this time. I th yeah. I thought for sure, but. It turned out to be a pretty decent visit, guys. So I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. Please go subscribe to his channel. His link is directly below the video. He keeps helping us out over and over again, which takes time away from him doing what he's trying to do on his own channel. So go, you know, do something on his do channel. Hit, right? hit a thumbs up, watch a video or two or three, but definitely give him a subscribe, man, and watch his content. We really appreciate him over here, and I hope you do too. If you guys enjoyed this content, hit the thumbs up button. Drop your comments down below. And until next time, stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.